Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Weekly Rewind presented by Attractions Magazine. This episode is for Friday, October 23rd, 2015. I am your host, Banks Lee. We're going to take a look back at the past seven days of our Twitter feed, at Attractions. So let's get started with last Friday on October 16th. This is a look at the Walt Disney Theater over at Disney's Hollywood Studios inside One Man's Dream. From now until December 5th, it's being outfitted as the preview for Disney Pixar's new film, The Good Dinosaur. October 17th, we know this is new popcorn bucket on sale at Disney, Mickey Mouse Vampire. Perfect if you're a uh, popcorn bucket collector and for Halloween. October 18th, here's a look at some posters at Disney's Hollywood Studios advertising the upcoming movies Star Wars The Force Awakens and The Jungle Book. Leave a comment below this video on YouTube. Let me know which movie you're most excited to see. Also on October 18th, we were over at Legoland, Florida for their annual Brick or Treat Halloween event. This vampire hearse is made up of just over 280,000 Lego bricks. If you are an awesomer pass holder for Legoland Florida, which also gets you admission into the stuff at iDrive360, then you can go over to the annual pass processing center at Legoland Florida during Brick or Treat to pick up your special commemorative brick. There is a Brick or Treat trail during the event there at Legoland where kids can go and get some candy. And there's also a couple of Lego builds that you can take part in too and help build, like this vampire model, which is actually the largest Lego vampire in the world. There's also some special Lego characters you can meet during Brick or Treat, like right here, the Lego Frankenstein. At the end of the night, new this year for Brick or Treat, they have some special Brick or Treat fireworks themed to pirates, and you can get some free 3D glasses too, so when you watch them, they look like this. They look like bricks are exploding from all the points of light. We'll have video of this show sometime soon on our YouTube channel. Over at SeaWorld Orlando, though they're still celebrating their Halloween spectacular there, they're getting ready for their Christmas season, so some of the, tr the Sea of Trees there are popping up in the lagoon. October 19th, we found this over in the Space Mountain gift shop at the Magic Kingdom. Some DTEC on-demand iPhone cases that you can only get at the Magic Kingdom. I'm sure they'll have things like this for the other parks coming up in the future, which I think is a cool idea. October 21st was a big day if you're a fan of Back to the Future. It's because in the second movie, that is the date that Doc and Marty go to in the future. So to celebrate that at the show, we did a fun little skit with a DeLorean. So you can check that out on this week's episode of the show. Over at Universal Orlando, there are some people that came to the park dressed up, in character, getting photos at the DeLorean. Even Doc Brown himself was going out in a DeLorean and meeting guests near the front of the park. You can see video of that on our YouTube channel. Also on October 21st, we shared this photo of some of the coasters that you can get over at Jock Lindsay's Hangar Bar at Disney Springs. It's definitely a collection that you can do now because every now and then they'll release a new coaster based on some club or, or bar around the world. And it's not all going to be out at once. So you have to keep going back if you want to try and add more to your collection. No word how many different coasters there are. October 22nd, at Erica underscore Murphy on Twitter shared this photo of the Hocus Pocus Villain spe Spectacular shirt on sale at the Magic Kingdom during regular park hours. So if you're not able to get to the Halloween party there and you want this shirt, you can still go during the day and get it. And on October 27th, we were over at Universal Orlando for the grand opening of the NBC Sports Grill and Brew at CityWalk. Special event happening there. We got to sample some of the foods, see some sports stars like Bob Costas here, and some other personalities from NBC Sports. They toasted the grand opening of the new restaurant, and we'll have a full segment on the new restaurant on this week's episode of the show. And that's going to do it this week for the Weekly Rewind. Be sure to tune in next Thursday. As I said, we'll take you inside the NBC Sports Grill and Brew at Universal Orlando. And until next Friday, have fun, guys. We'll see you later.